information through questionnaires and schedules this is the other method from which you can collect a primary data see when an investigator investigator prepares some questionnaires or schedules and he gets the information by filling uh, and the informants fill up the questionnaires from that the information is collected then it is a primary source of information through this method it contains two method that is your mailing method the second is enumerators method so let's understand your mailing method of collecting the information through questionnaires and schedules under the mailing method what do you do the investigator mails questionnaire to informants suppose you are an in investigator and i am a person from whom you need information what you do you email me the questionnaire and you attach a letter with it and you ask me to please you request me to please fill up the questionnaire and revert you back so this is the mailing method by uh, for collecting the information through questionnaire or schedule what is the suitability see when the area of study is wide then you use this method second when your informants are educated then you use this method right so these are the suitability where you can use this mailing method if we from the persons whom you are collecting the information are educated enough so you can use the questionnaire method and the mailing method now what are the merits and demerits of using a mailing method number 1 is your economical see you only internet charges are required only internet is required you just have to email so in terms of it you save your time you save your cost you save your efforts so it is very economical original you are the only investigator and you are sending personally the in, uh, questionnaire to the informants so it is the original and fairly reliable third is wide coverage you can cover a wide area of study a large area of study then we have the demerits that is lack of interest a person from whom information is collected might uh, might not show some interest and uh, might not reply back to the investigator so the informants do not take interest in the questionnaires and fail to return the questionnaires second gives the lack of flexibility this method lacks flexibility when questions are not properly replied these cannot be changed to obtain the required information limited use this method has limited use owing to the fact that the questionnaires can be answered only by the educated informants this method cannot be used when the informants are uneducated biased the informants are biased so the data collected might be inaccurate less accuracy the informants show lack of interest while filling up the questionnaire so they might not be accurate uh, towards the question filling the questionnaire so they do not give the accurate information so these are your merits and demerits of
mailing method. The second method of collecting the information through questionnaires and schedules is your enumerators method. In this what happens? An investigator appoints enumerators that is the correspondence. So enumerator goes to the informants and collect the information. In this they do not offer give or offer questionnaire to the informants from whom the information has to be collected. Whereas they ask the questions and fill the questionnaires themselves so when the questionnaire is filled by the enumerator then it is called schedule when filled by enumerator then it is called schedule so under this method a questionnaire is prepared according to the purpose of inquiry the enumerator himself approaches the informant with the questionnaire. The questionnaires which are filled by the enumerators themselves by putting questions are called schedules. Under this method, the enumerator himself fills the schedules after seeking information from the informants. Enumerators are those persons who help the investigator in collecting the data. The enumerators are given training to fill the schedules and put the questions intelligently to obtain accurate information where this method is suitable number one is when the investigation area is large means wide coverage is required second the investigation needs specialized and skilled investigators When the investigators are well versed in local language and cultural norms. So you require, uh, then you can use this enumerators method. The merits and demerits are wide coverage, you can cover the wide area through this method. Second is your accuracy, as enumerator collects the information so it is accurate. There is a personal contact between the enumerator and the informant. So information is uh, likely more accurate impartiality the enumerator do not do any partiality while collecting the information completeness you'll get a complete information while collecting the information what are the demerits of this method this is an expensive method because you need to appoint the enumerators and they have to go personally and collect the information there is a problem in the availability of enumerates. This is a time consuming. Fourth, not suitable for 
Pri private investigation in which the investigation has to be kept secret then in that case you do not use this method so these are the merits and demerits i hope you like our video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us